He's an icon in Wabino, Larry the Log Roller, but a recent accident left him in pieces. Here's a picture before and an after picture of Larry. In the beginning of January, crews were clearing trees in the town park when a log rolled on Larry, splitting him into three pieces. And this morning we're spending some time with the man who's fixing him. Now, Em, is that true? I, I, I didn't realize a log rolled on a Larry. Is that true? Isn't I, that ironic? I know. Isn't that just a little ironic, Pete, that a log rolled on to Larry the log roller? Yeah. I don't know, fighting back or something. But hey, you know what? <laughs> Larry was down, but he's not out, Rachel and Pete. He is here with me this morning, and so is the man repairing him. Ron Piontek is here. We're in Denmark. Um, so how did Larry come all the way from Odino to get here, Ron? Well, one of my friends, Paul Ellinger, called, wanted to know if I could do any fiberglass. I said, what'd you do, a smash a bus or a car? No, Larry Logo or got a tree knocked on him. So and then following Monday, went up with a trailer, brought the body back in the head. Yeah, he was in three pieces. He's three pieces. It, you know, if you've seen the earlier segment or whenever, you'd see that he was pretty well busted up. Yeah, and when he came to you, what were you thinking? Like, oh gosh, I mean, uh, it was bad. Real bad. I just thought, well, maybe we should buy a new one. But then I decided to try it, and all of a sudden, here we have it. We're back in shape again. He's solid. Yeah, it, let's talk about what you've been able to do so far and, and how you've been able to repair him and what you've gotten to. Well, this was one of the big ones here. There was nothing there. I have over 300 rivets in them with aluminum behind them and fiberglass to make him solid again. And he, it's, he's just solid as can be. His arms were busted off. Those are solid. Everything's back in shape, better than what he was when he was new. You know, he's still in pieces. The best part is, though, his head's back on. Head's back on, and he's doing good. This is, has to be redone, but he'll be better than new when we're mm. done. Um, fiberglass, is that something that's hard to work with? It's real na naughty, like, you know, nasty, smelly, itchy. <laughs> as you found out. <laughs> yes, I have found out this morning. We're going to show you more about that fiberglass later. But we're looking at the shoulder right now. That was a kind of a challenge too. Why was that? That was a challenge because I didn't have any pieces to work with. They got lost with the trees and when he burnt the brush, half of his right shoulder got burnt with it. So you can see his legs are over there. We're going to tell you, um, you know, throughout the morning, different ways they're going to repair and also too, his boots are still it's, it's, in Labino. They're still in Labino. They tried to put a de-icer in them and get them here, but they're not done yet. But early spring, according to the groundhog, so maybe <laughs> by early there you spring. Go. Fingers crossed, right? There you go. We do need them to finish up his, his, his legs and stuff. Exactly, exactly. Um, so he's already gotten some paint work done, and your right. friend Mac is helping you. We're yes. going to talk to him in a little bit, and we're going to show you some of the fiberglass that um, Ron is working with. So we'll be out here all morning with Larry and Ron and Mac. It's going to be... It's going to be a fun time. We'll send it back to you for now.